hello hi so this is a story that I've actually thought about telling for months now. It happened like last fall, but I guess I haven't just because I don't really like complaining about, you know, how different I am and stuff. Like, yeah, I have plenty of videos where the butt of the joke is that I'm really small and can do a lot of things that average sized adults can't do but those are more like positive you know what i mean like those are me just like having fun with it but with the fun silly things that i can do that also comes with some really annoying shitty things that happen a lot of the time that i go out in public and you know i also don't want every single video to have to do with the fact that i'm different and i'm small but you know what I realized that this is my channel where I can share my experiences that maybe some other people in a similar situation to me can relate to. And also, I can talk about what I want because it's the reality of my life and if you don't like it or don't want to hear about it, you don't have to. Uh, that's not even me being snooty. That's just me Dating facts, brothers. All right, anyway, if you've never seen one of my videos before, I'll give you a quick little rundown. My name is Taylor. Hi, welcome to me. I am 21 years old and I am four feet tall because I have a bone condition called chondrodysplasia punctata, which basically means a lot of my cartilage cells didn't form properly, which means a lot of my bones didn't form properly, and said bone condition was also the cause of many other health issues that I have. But the most obvious one that everyone can see is that I'm much, much shorter than the average person. It's very complicated and very rare, and there isn't really a solid explanation for it, but basically all you need to know is I'm really short and just small in general. Some people think I look 10, others think I'm 30. It's a weird thing, okay? And it also results in a lot of real fun experiences with strangers. One in particular being what this video is about. So I started driving like any other teenager when I was about 17. I mean, it did take me a little longer than the average teenager because before I could really start driver's ed and get on the road, I needed like a car with special modifications done to it so that, you know, I could reach the pedals and see over the steering wheel and whatnot. But other than that, I've been driving like perfectly normal for the past five years four years i'm 21 math four years something like that doesn't matter point is i can drive and i've gotten questions before from people that think they're funny and they're like oh how many times has a cop like pulled you over because they think a little kid is driving a car the answer is never um i don't even think they're allowed to do that maybe i'm wrong i don't know many details about the law but it would just seem kind of weird if they could just like look at someone and pull them over just because they look a certain way i don't know However, what has happened to me happened about five, six months ago and uh, really pissed me off. <laughs> Before I really get into the story, I do want to say I wasn't completely in the right in this scenario either. I definitely did a couple of things wrong and it was a learning experience. But also, this woman was just disrespectful is the main word that comes to mind. My family owns a bakery and we live very close to said bakery, about like two blocks to be exact, which for most people is walking distance. But for me, I drive because it's just hard for me to walk long distances without like literally wanting to collapse. So anyway, this one morning, I just wanted to drive over to the bakery for like two minutes and grab a coffee and then go back home. I was only planning on being out for literally less than 10 minutes. So I didn't bring my wallet. <laughs> oh, immediately Taylor, you deserved this. Sure, like I said, this was a learning experience and ever since this happened, I bring that muff wallet everywhere I go, no matter if I'm like two feet away from my house. That's an exaggeration, but you know what I mean? So I roll out of bed, get in my car immediately, look in a mess, my hair is a mess, I'm just wearing like a hoodie and sweatpants. I get in the car and I drive to the bakery, get my coffee and muffin or whatever, get back in the car, 
And as I'm like getting ready to pull out of the parking lot, I see this lady who, look, I don't have much room to judge how old someone is, but if I had to guess, she wasn't much older than me. Maybe late 20s, I don't know. Doesn't really matter, but just trying to give you a mental image, right? I'm waiting to pull out of the parking lot, and this lady is standing like to my left on the driver's side, but like 10, 20 feet away. And she's looking in my direction, but I can't tell if she's looking at me or not, but she has this look on her face like, I don't know, like she's real confused. Like she's looking like this. And I kind of look at her, but then I like look away. Like I didn't know she was looking at me until she starts walking towards my window. This, I was about to say this bitch. Ugh. <laughs> Girl knocks on my window. Like, she can't just be like, can you roll? She, I'm right there. She's like, by this point, she's like two inches away from my face. I roll my window down and I'm like, yeah? No. She is gonna ask me, just straight up gonna ask me, are you over 16? <laughs> and <laughs> keep in mind, I like just woke up. So this was like my first human interaction of the morning. So I'm kind of caught off guard in, already and I'm just like yeah and she's like how old are you and I was like I'm 20 I wasn't as this was before my birthday whatever and she just goes you're 20 with like the most blah, reaction ever and also my tattoos were right there in her face like my arm was on the steering wheel and this was it was you know hello and she just won't believe me Hi, me editing and realizing that I could have just told her that I was a little person and that might have immediately made her feel like an asshole. But then again, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, and also I don't know her. Maybe she wouldn't have even believed that either. You know? And this is where I was dumb and like shouldn't have even said this in the first place. There were a lot of different ways that I could have handled this, let's be honest. And I definitely didn't pick the best one, but I just... I was caught off guard, I was still kind of half awake, and I, this specific scenario had never happened to me before, so I was kind of like, wow, I can't believe this is actually happening right now. So, I was like, yeah, do you want to see my driver's license? <laughs> no. And she's like, yeah, I do. Which, first of all, I shouldn't have asked her that, because random people on the street are not allowed to ask you to see your ID. Granted, she didn't ask me, I offered, but still. So then I reach over and this, all this did was make me sound more, I don't know what the word is. All this did was make me sound less credible and just made me sound more like I was lying to her face. I like reach over and realize that I didn't bring my wallet. And I literally just go, and then I just turned back to her and I'm like, I forgot it, I don't have it with me. So then she's like, this is what lit a fire in my soul. And I just didn't give a fuck about being nice anymore. I, <laughs> oh, the tone in her voice was just so like condescending and ugly. She like leans in and she's like, get home quickly, okay? Oh, bitch. Ooh, and then I was like, my dad's right inside, like if you wanna talk to him. Also didn't help, like also just made me seem like a little child, you know? But I was just like grasping at things to shove it in her face somehow. Wasn't doing a good job, but I just, I was really angry. And she says the, get home quickly, okay? And then I said the thing about my dad. Then she started getting like cocky and she was like, okay. And like started walking away. I just went, <laughs> I will never, fr like this is literally what I did. All right, dude. And just like drove away. And you know what's really embarrassing? Like the really embarrassing part. I don't remember if I talked about this because I did, I was so heated in the moment. I don't know if I still have the video. If I do, I'll insert it. But I was so pissed off that I like pulled out my phone and like made a little Instagram video. Holy. I can't make this shit up. This girl is gonna ask me if I'm over 16. 
Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm. Because I like wanted her to see it. I don't know how, like obviously it's a one in a million chance that she would, but I just like, mm, I wanted so bad to just rub it in her face. I was so mad. I literally, this is so embarrassing and petty and stupid. I go back home, I get my wallet, <laughs> and then I drove around <laughs> trying to find her. <laughs> Because I wanted to just be like, <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. Like, I, oh, it's so ugly. But I was just pissed, dude. I was so mad. And I just, like, desperately wanted that redemption because I felt so dumb. Like, I was so angry at her, but I was also angry at myself for being, like, unprepared and, like, making myself just sound more guilty of being, like, a 12 year old driver. Oh, that's pretty much where the story ends. It's not some like long dramatic thing. And like I've said 8,000 times, I didn't handle the situation very well, but sh what she did was just so rude. It would be one thing if she was just like looking out for me, which in her twisted way, that is what she was trying to do. But once I responded, I don't know, I feel like, personally, it seems like after talking to me for about 20 seconds, you can probably figure out that I'm not 10. You know, I don't know. I would understand it a little bit more and I wouldn't be so angry or making this video if she came up and asked if I was over 16 and then when I said, yeah, and then she was like, okay, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I just wanted to, you know, double check or whatever. That would be a different story. I wouldn't be sitting here making this video. I wouldn't be so mad. I would understand that because stuff like that has happened to me before. I've talked about it in the video I did where like I recreated moments where people thought I was a child, like with my dad in the wig. <laughs> like the lady who saw me sitting on a bench by myself and asked if I was okay or like where's my mom or whatever she said and then immediately when I answered and said how old I was she was like oh my god like I'm so sorry I just wanted to make sure that kind of stuff I understand but da ha to an extent mind your fucking business like to an extent yes if you see something say something <laughs> but if you see something and you say something and you get a response and an answer to your question, don't fight the answer, my guy. Just mind your f***ing business. There's a fine line, and she crossed that line and just made herself be flat out rude. I know there's gonna be plenty of people being like, you deserved it, you didn't bring your license, man. But also, bitch, I didn't have to show her shit, you know? And like, I love how that happened to me, but every time I've gone to a bar since turning 21, I've had no issue. <laughs> Just like, what? You know, like that would happen to me. Anyway, I should wrap this up because I'm literally sweating. Every time I film a video, I like have to turn my fan off because it's really loud. So I have to suffer through the entire thing. But thanks for watching uh, and listening to my rant. I don't want you guys to think that this is a story that like plagues my life and will forever hurt my feelings. It's not. I've wanted to tell the story for a while, but I was kind of just waiting because I think right after it happened, I had just made the like Halloween videos where I went inside the pumpkin again and like did the kids costumes. So I had already done some videos that were centered around me being small. So I didn't want to on top of that, make a video complaining about the shitty things that happen to you when I'm small. But I also need to stop caring so much about what other people are gonna think and just talk about what I want to talk about. But yeah, it's the internet. Sometimes the internet and my brain don't mesh very well so that's why i put off making this for so long but yeah thank you guys for watching listening to my ramble i'm trying to get back to posting twice a week again so i just wanted to do a little quickie one for the middle of this week uh follow me on twitch if you don't already i've been streaming on twitch for a few days a week for about a month now and it's my new favorite thing to do. It's really fun. Mostly I play The Sims 4. Um, sometimes I play other random little games or I'll just talk. I'll, we just have a fun time. It's really fun. So make sure to go follow me over there and also follow my social medias like Instagram and Twitter. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because I upload new videos every week. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.
Love you. Bye.